Welcome everybody here today, uh, representatives of the trade union movement and the Turkish community. We're standing in solidarity with uh, activists in Turkey who are fighting for democracy and freedom. Um, we'll have a number of speakers from both the union movement and the Turkish community extending their support. And I might hand over to Sadet Ozdemir, who's uh, representing the, uh, uh, the Australian Union Movement and the, um, he's from the Maritime Union of Australia. Hi, um, for those who don't know me, my name is Sade Tersimi and I'm the Campaigns and Projects Coordinator for MUA. Um, and welcome, thank you for coming. I know that it has been a short, you know, sort of notice for all of us, but it's not the case for the people that are struggling and, and are oppressed in Turkey at the moment. I'm going to do mine in Turkish, so which is a, <laughs> I've never done anything in Turkish in, in an Australian <laughs> chapter, but here we go. <laughs> Um, sendikalar Türk Başbak um, Başbakanı'nı dünya çapındaki eyleme, eylemlerle kınıyor. Avustralya Sendikalar Kongresi ve Türkiye'li topluluklar bugün Sydney ve Melbourne'da bir protesto için Uluslararası Taşımcılık Federasyonu ITF yanında yer alıyorlar. Ya protesto İstanbul'daki vahşi saldır e, saldırılara yöneliktir. Avustralya'daki eylem Uluslararası Gıda İşçileri Sendikası IUF, ITF ve Uluslararası Sendika Konferansiyonu gibi küresel sendika örgütlerini desteklediği küresel eylem gününün bir parçasıdır. Bugünkü gösterimiz konsolosluğun önünde ve bütün dünya çapında bugün aynı gün yani ayın 21'inde konsolosluk ve büyükelçiliğin önünde yapılacak. Amacımız en benzer eylemlerin bir çok ülkenin yanı sıra İngiltere, Belçika, Brezilya, Almanya, Hindistan, Endonezya, Japonya, Hollanda, Lübnan, Filipinler, Tayland, Tunus ve Amerikan Birleşik Devletleri'nde gerçekleştirecek. ITF'in başkanı Perry Crumble şu şekilde konuştu. Bence bu çok önemli bir konuşma. Kendisi de çok önemli bir yeri var Avustralya'da. Erdoğan'ın eylemleri kendisi, hükümeti ve Türkiye için bir utanç kaynağıdır. Sendikalar bugün bu utancı ayna tutacaklardır. Ve bu baskıya bir son verilmesini talep ediyoruz. Medeniyet ve kanun namına bu vahşi saldırılara bir son verilmektedir. Türkiye'nin demokrasinin geleceği buna bağlıdır. Türkiye'deki insan haklarının dayanışma içinde olduğumuzu belirtiyor ve hükümetin emniyet güçlerinin ifade özgürlüğünün önemli bir parçası olan topluma özgürlüğünü, halkını barışçıl şekilde kullanan halka karşı aşırı şiddet kullanmasıyla ilgili ciddi endişelerimizi ifade ediyoruz. Bunların hepsi temel insan haklarına ve demokrasiye saldırı niteliğindedir. Size derhal mev mevcut durumla ilgili şu eylemlerde bulunmaya çağırıyoruz. Ankara'daki hükümet barışçıl protestolara karşı devlet şiddetine son vermeli. Türkiye'deki bütün kamusal alanlarda ifade ve toplama özgürlüğü hakkını teminat altına almalıdır. Sizi özellikle biber gazı kullanımını yasaklamaya davet ediyoruz. Binlerce yaralıdan Mehmet Ayvalıtaş, Abdullah Cömert, Eltem Sarısülük ve Mustafa Sarı'nın ölümlerden sorumlu olanlar hesap vermeli, görevlerinden istifa etmeli ve yargı önüne çıkarılmalıdır. Ülke çapındaki eylemlere katılan tutuklu vatandaşlar derhal serbest bırakılmalı ve halklarında bir soruşturma olmayacağına dair resmi bir tebliğat verilmelidir. Sendikal hakların önünde bütün yasal ve pratik engeller kaldırmalı, grev hakkına saygı gösterilmelidir. ITF adına teşekkürler. Union movement in Turkey is active, it is strong, and we support our brothers and sisters there who are fighting for democracy in their workplaces but also in their country. I might hand over to Dean Summers, who's the ITF national coordinator, to talk about the ITF's commitment to the people in Turkey. Thanks, comrades, and thank you, everybody. The ITF, International Transport Workers Federation, is back to front. <laughs> and now we're okay. Now we're on track. Uh, it's a global union federation that covers 5 million transport unions, uh, 5 million transport uh, men and women belonging to affiliated free transport unions. In Turkey, we stand in strong solidarity with uh, the men and women of Turkey in their fight for freedom and for justice. Our focus is brought to Turkey in three particular areas. The first one is the development and the support of the Democratic Trade Union for Seafarers called DERDER 
and they are our brothers and sisters and they get our support in an ever increasing market in international trade, trade union movement. Also the DHL workers uh, that have to suffer under the Turkish regime that does not respect trade union rights and imprisons those workers and those workers representatives illegally imprisons them and takes it in an attempt to break transport unions. And finally the Turkish airline unions that have been battling for a number of years to get recognition of their union when their union members collectively come together and voice their opposition to government, opposition to big business, they are imprisoned and beaten and treated in such a way that we have seen manifest itself in Taksim Square. Taksim Square is resonating around the world today and over the last couple of weeks uh, as a resistance movement for fundamental human rights, which include fundamental trade union rights. So we stand absolutely solidarity right behind every man and woman in Taxim Square, every man and woman in the resistance movement against such a tyrannical approach to squash workers' trade union rights. Thank you. Uh, my name is Ali Watson. Uh, I came here when I was seven years old, 1970. Uh, what's going in Turkey right now is uh, it's about a, a small park, but the issue is it's not a small park, it's a big wide issue about uh, the treatment of AKP, these policies towards the Turkish people. Uh, and for 10 years, 11 years, the AK Party has depressed the Turkish people. Uh, the uh, depression against the union, the trade unionists, the, the students in, in Turkey, and the whole uh, the public in Turkey. So this is not only a, just only a part. This is the wider issue of democratic rights, human rights, uh, rights to uh, protest, the right to say what people feel like saying. So. Uh, Tayyip Erdogan has used very heavy-handed towards these protesters and we condemn that uh, and uh, I hope he resigns very soon and the whole Western world should condemn this uh, behaviour of this Turkish state and the Turkish government. Thank you. Yeah, my name is Solmaz Erdoğdu. I'm from Turkey. I came here when I was 18 years of age. Um, AKP party in Turkey currently they actually torturing the residents um, in Istanbul and all over Turkey. Um, the people on the street, the protesters, basically want their rights, and because they're on the street protesting the government, they're getting killed. Currently, four people already died. Twelve people lost their eyes. I get very emotional when I talk about it, and we actually lost. Um, we can't sleep for the last um, 20 days. I have my um, relatives, all my relatives in Turkey. I am worried about them because most of them are on the street as well. Um, they, my brother left his job. Um, sorry, I can't talk. You alright? Take your time, it's fine. Um, the government, the, the president, he doesn't actually listen to his own people. He's saying uh, his own people want him there and he doesn't care, care about the rest of the people on the street. He's basically lying on the, the televisions, the media talks about, they don't talk about what's happening in Turkey. They're supporting the government because they're all scared. Um, after how many days it has been today, it's, it's just about 21 days today, uh, 7,000 people are injured, the lawyers are in jail, the doctors, because they help the people, injured people, they are arrested. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, hopefully, he will resign soon. And... Um, People, people who want democracy uh, in in jail, arrested people will be all out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Matt Mavuk. I'm 14. I was born here in Australia. I've got family in Turkey. This matters to me because um, right now in Turkey, it's like becoming a new dictatorship, which is a bad news because there's been no more democracy and 
just sit there since votes weren't counted. So, yeah.